Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Es Yasmincita here, saludándolos de nuevo. How is everyone doing? I hope you guys are all doing fine. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning and I'm here ready to go to work. Well, technically today was my day off, but this is why I wanted to record this video for you guys because this is how a day of a life, life of a farm worker goes. So I want to let you guys see everything because technically we have no days off even though you get a day off you still gotta go to work like me right now i ended up waking up a little late around 9 30 a.m i slept in good you know because when you go to work you gotta be up by like 3 30 4 a.m so i slept in good today but you know there's always something going on so they call you for either like to pick up something to go deliver something to go do invoices to do office work there's a whole lot of work going on when you're a farmer you don't have any days off even if they say you have a day off you still gotta go do something you know like today today was the perfect day for me to show you guys why we don't have days off so like I said, I woke up like around 9.30 and I didn't have time for breakfast because you know a phone call came in saying that I was needed. So I need to go run an errand real quick and take another truck to the fields because they need another one to just, I don't know. Point is they need the other truck, okay? So I gotta go take it, which is like uh, an hour and a half away. So yeah, I didn't have time for breakfast. So you know, your homegirl stopped at McDonald's real quick. Mm. Got a French vanilla ass latte. And since I am trying to eat a little better, I could have got a biscuit, but you know, there it is, oatmeal. That's all I'm having, oatmeal and coffee. Perfect combo. I'ma put this in the other truck because I'm not taking this one behind me. I'm taking the other work one, so. I'll show you guys when we get to the farm. I'll show you what the problem was because I'm not even sure what it is. I just got to go. You know, you got to be there. You got to be ready for whenever they call you. So, yeah. Let's go. So, here's the truck we're going to end up taking. Boxes in here. I'm also going to make a video of whenever we go and uh, pick up boxes, put them in the truck and all that, you know. When we go get the boxes and bring them here how all that works and just excuse this trailer that's where all the trash goes so yeah um let me just get this okay, right so i'm ready to go i just need to go close the gate real quick we gotta keep it secured you know i guess i got esto así que vamos a cerrar all right let's get the other one so the first thing we're going to do is um, pump some diesel. I'm already pumping some diesel. Um, I got some snacks. You know how I said I was trying to eat better? Look what, my, look what I got for snacks. Yeah, right. But I did get me a water instead of like, you know, Gatorade or all that. And I got me a Larry's cookie for the way. Hopefully, I don't have to eat that much hot Cheetos, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to because you know it takes a long time. So, this is why most farm workers can't stay fit because you will have to eat junk along the way, you know, to either keep yourself awake or just because there's nothing else around the places you're going to, the farms, you know, to eat. So, yeah, and then don't even talk about making meal preps because I tried that. And let me tell you, that went so wrong. Like, all the food would go bad by the end of the day because it's so hot. And we don't, like, even if you put it in a cooler with ice and all that. Okay, so quick little update. I finished my oatmeal. I'm satisfied already. So they just called me and here's what I'm going to be doing because the truck did break down the one that they're using right now to pick corn. So I'm basically here as a backup in case it breaks down again because it did end up turning on 
turning back on so that's good um i'm just gonna be the backup you know in case it does break down again so we could just like you know pull it with this one this truck that i have now or if not we can switch the produce from that truck to this truck you guys get what i'm saying right so i'm basically a backup right now just to make sure that we get uh, to the place and time and pack all the corn and do all the rest of the process you know what i mean so this is what we're doing Waiting for them to arrive i just put over the i just put over on the side of the road and um put the emergency signals on to wait um they said that we're almost here so they told me to just to wait on the side of the road you know so i'm just waiting for them to come i'll go behind them and uh, make sure everything goes good i hope we don't have to stop i'm really like crossing my fingers so we could just go straight over there so we don't have to you know worry about switching the produce or like pulling the other truck it's just better if if hopefully it doesn't break down again so let's just hope it doesn't and i'm waiting for them i'll show you guys once they arrive i said i was just here for an emergency in case the truck stopped working again but it's going pretty good uh we're already in immokalee so we made it yay I still had to go though because you never know with these trucks, you know? Okay, so we just arrived at the warehouse where we're going to pack the corn and everything. Um, I just came in here to try to like visualize what I'm going to do in this little office. It's Noelia's office and uh, we're trying to reorganize stuff and like, you know, make it look cute. So far, we... <laughs> so I'm laughing because <laughs> I was about to say so far we've done everything in here but literally we just put in the little sofa that we got so i'm over here trying to think where everything's gonna go but i don't know there's still things that we gotta get rid of and we haven't had much time to like actually come and get it done you know so now that i'm here i'm gonna clean a little more um i'm gonna organize noelia's paperwork because she just left them here She's being messy. I'm just kidding. She's not messy. She's really organized. It's just that we need a bigger desk. And right now we're just using the one that was already here. But we're going to get a new one. Like a bigger one, you know. Because this isn't big enough. And uh, yeah, we also need to start bringing in her files. Because they have those. Look, let me show you guys. They have those to put the paper right there. And look, that's so cute. I got it, that little frame right here. It's cute, I got it. I just need to print out a family picture so you can look even better. And then, um, yeah, Noelia has a little bit of stuff going on here. She just has paper. And then this is also cute, look, I'm gonna show you guys. This is so cute also, look, cause I told Noelia this would make her desk look even cuter. So yeah, she went ahead and put them there already. So we are getting a new desk and then we have that because Junior wanted to be comfortable. So you know, we had to just get that. And then we gotta fix that area. So don't mind that area right now. And then we have a little microwave, but I'm telling you everything we're reorganizing. It's just that we haven't brought in. We aren't going to be reorganizing everything. It's just that we haven't brought in everything yet. So, you know, I can't really do much right now. But clean, which is what I'm trying to do right now. I'm just trying to think where to get started. Since I'm already here and my day off was basically work. I might as well get some work done. I don't really need to go like look at the restroom and deep clean it because I don't like the way it's looking right now and I wanna I just wanna make it look clean you know 
since we are going to be using it we might as well make it look clean so yeah let me get started i'm gonna work here for like an hour i'm gonna do some cleaning organizing and have the most of the things ready for noelia so we just need to bring in more items more stuff more furniture new desk her chair because right now we're using the regular one right there see so yeah so i'll catch you guys later um i was gonna show you what i do in the afternoon but i think that's gonna be it for this video i'll go in more details next time we go to the farms like you know the actual like how long it takes to get to the farm what we do when we pick the corn the process of picking the corn i might interview some of the workers for you guys so you guys can start getting to know them because they're really nice you know and yeah in this video i basically just wanted to say that there ain't no days off you know like it's very very rare when you actually do get a food day without them calling you or without you having to do something either paperwork because we do really have to get a lot of paperwork done too like we gotta stay on top of it so it's either paperwork, you gotta go run an errand, you gotta go do this, you gotta go take that. Whew. I can't tell you the list of things that we have to do, but I mean, it's so nice like working out here in the farms, being a farm worker, owning your own business. Everything is fun and a fun learning experience, so I enjoy doing it. And plus, I slept in today, so thank God for that. I'm having a really good day and I'm gonna make it an even better day by being productive so yeah I hope you guys are all doing good thanks for tuning in I hope you like this video I'll be uploading more videos of what we do on a daily basis so make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel leave a thumbs up in this video thanks and bye